What is going on, everybody? We're back on at One Piece episode 249. We left off with the little, uh, Cuddy Flam, aka Frankie Child flashback last episode. Um, it looks like we're flashing right back to the fight. I mean, he's surrounded. Uh, they did show the cold opening of, uh, Zoro and Luffy being okay. I'm guessing they'll make their way here, or there'll be enough of a commotion going on where they're fighting that people will sense where it is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Government's got a lot of uh, shady stuff going on. Probably the most eye-opening thing last episode was Frankie did push back that guy even after he had used his hardening ability and stuff. Is that because he's cyborg? Is that because they uh, froze for a second? I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We're pressing play, though. Right now. Oh yeah, and then they over here putting Tom to the gallows just because he built a ship for uh Gold D Roger. That doesn't even make any sense. Just because I manufacture something and it get used one way, I get put to the sword because of it? What the hell? How's that my fault? Unless they were told if this guy commissions a ship, do not make one for him, then okay. But what if he just has somebody else do it? And they, I don't know, I don't know. But they're not going to kill him because they need the blueprint, so... Ah, uh, well... Here goes Yusuf with his shit again. Ah, oh, hell. Yeah, we need help. Help. I wouldn't even say he's a criminal. Yikes. Oh, shit. What was that flashback? That looked like Tom beating up somebody surrounded by Marines. We need help. Eh. Yeah. They weren't there during the come up stages. Oh, here comes the flashback. Alright, they're gonna tell us what happened. Let's see. I mean, we already knew he was described as a criminal because of what he did. Are you telling me there was something else on top of that? He did something else on top of that, or. Dang, so he got the train up and running, and they said, alright, set an execution date. Dang, we just came from a flashback and you're gonna flash us back again? Hmm. Oh. Mm. And I've been told that he is fish man, fish boy. So they're just out here just... Some of them are just out here living normal lives. They don't think they're a superior species or anything like that, huh? Why did that look like our boat? Oh, hell. The government's approaching him. What the hell was that? Oh, 
Well, look like he's on a uh, Mach 35. <laughs> he's got his Iron Man suit trials going. Still trying to figure that shit out. 35 trials. So the Cypher Core came up to him, looking for it. <sighs> I mean, does he have a plan with these battleships? Is he just get, was his life just going to be building them and defeating sea monsters for the rest of his days, or what? Yeah, like, what's going on here? Looks like they were coming after him for that information, too. I want you to apologize to me. They don't know anything about the trial. We're here for that, uh, that Pluton. You know what we're here for. God, her face is so bad. It looks a little better when it's on her, like, crazy-shaped body, but man, that's creepy. That's, I don't know if that's unintended, but man. That's terrible. Uh... Yeah. So we know he has it. So how did it come to be in his possession? Mm. True, he's already in the system. Because his trial isn't up yet. I think at this point he knows that he's got to go pass that shit off. He's like, oh shit, people are coming to look for it. But how did it fall into his possession? Did we get that information already? Oh, they're gonna let him go free. Or we're planning to let him go free. <sighs> it looks like that's gonna, this is going to become a very, very big plot point. The restoration of an ancient weapon. Who's this? Are, we, are these important people? <sighs> We've never seen them before. They they weren't part of the like government group that sat down at the table uh, hundred or however many episodes ago it was. Well. Another uh, upset government worker trying to prove himself, and he's going to go out there and overextend and probably regret his decision, but still get the intended result. Five more intelligent agents, okay. Yikes. Man, curb stomped himself. Are those it? Yeah. 
they're coming asking, you better go ahead and get that succession plan ready. Just in case you have an untimely death. Are we really halfway already? Holy shit, we are. We only have like seven, eight minutes left. That Nico Robin saxophone still the best cut screen. Yeah, he's not laughing or giggling anymore. It's a serious conversation. Dang, this Plutone's that serious, huh? It's the worst monster ever in the history of shipbuilding. The government has become aware of the existence of these blueprints and has started taking action. So it is blueprints for a ship. Like, I, I don't understand what Plutone is. Like, is it an element? Is it, is it a, a gas? Is it a bomb? Like, so Plutone, so that, that's why I was confused. If it was something that like naturally occurred or used to be, how can we just build like a chemical or something like that? But it, it, it is a ship? I was curious like how there were blueprints for it. Here's my thing though. If you don't want it to get into the wrong hands, and you don't think there's ever a uh, positive purpose for it, well, if there's no positive purpose for it, and you don't want it falling in the wrong hands, why don't we just destroy it? Why don't we just burn it here and now? Don't put the burden on anybody. There's no chance it could ever get found and fall into the wrong hands or one of us accidentally dies. <sighs> so maybe that uh, CP9 member purposely gets him in trouble so that he has to go to jail? So did she just become a raging alcoholic after Tom got uh, killed, I'm guessing? Trials on the boat? No, 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 okay. Oh, it is. <laughs> Tell me he doesn't get hung up on the way there. He's really on the way there and they catch him out. Uh, what is this? What is this? How is it? this doesn't get put on us, does it? What the hell is this? Tell me he's not using a ship that we made to do this and then gonna blame it on us. Gotta put that kid in there that's lost for dramatic purposes. This is the government firing, firing on its own shit. God, they're Frankie's battle boats. Oh, Jesus. They got into the wrong hands. And I think what's going to happen is they're going to ask, you know, how these boats came to, where did they come from? And instead of the blame being put on Frankie, Tom's going to take it. Iceberg told him about that shit, too. This is how they're going to pin it on him. I thought they were going to try to rough him up and start a fight in the streets or something and get him to, like, assault somebody, but... Uh... I like Iceberg with the long hair drip better, by the way. Wow, we're actually seeing Tom, like, actually concerned. 
for a moment. He's not just giggling. This is a mess. Do you not see that it's own government people like on these ships? I mean, they're not showing us who's on it, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's who's going to be, right? A bunch of CP9 Marines just firing on, over on his command. He's trying to see what it is. Sacrifice for justice, he says. They really did his ass dirty. I think that's where it's going to end. Oh, we got like two minutes left. Jesus. Oh no. Did he just have all these ships just laying in harbor ready to be just boarded? Oh my god, people are gonna come find them and see them on the ships. Oh, God. People are going to come around the corner and see his ass on those ships. He's going to take the fall for it. Yep. Oh, my God. Now Frankie's firing on it because he doesn't know who's on it. Jesus. Oh, no, that wasn't Frankie. That was the guy on other... Frankie still hasn't even gotten there yet. Jesus. Well, that took a turn. So how do we end up in the streets surrounded by Marines? I'm, I'm guessing to be arrested for this. Told you about those ships, man. They got into the wrong hands. He just has all those battleships just anchored? Just ready to be used at any time? I thought he was destroying them as he went. Oh, wow. He just leaves them. Hmm. I'm sure they're gonna. I'm sure Frankie and the gang's gonna come out on top. That wasn't terrible. I mean, I hate that we got two flashbacks back to back. We were in the current. They flash us back, then they start out in the current and flash us back again. Um, it wasn't a bad little flashback there. I thought it was gonna be. You, you see this all the time in anime and movies with like weak stories. It's, you have like a an uh, an up and coming like official agent for like a government or board or whatever you want to put it as. Um, and they're trying to bring a bad guy in, but 
the, the bad guy's got good reputation by whoever. He's in good favor. Come on, we're not going to threaten that because it'll bring heat down on us. You know how that goes. And same thing here. Tom's in good favor after what he just did, regardless of the like dirt that he's done. And the, the up-and-comer doesn't understand why. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to prove myself. I'll do it. And he could have easily like started a fight, which which I which I thought was where we were gonna go, like him starting some weak fight in the streets and and tagging, capturing Frankie or Iceberg, and you know Tom going a little too crazy and accidentally killing somebody or something. Um, but here though, I like the the route they chose. Still the same plot point process, you know. I talked about of him trying to you know show out for his uh for his status. Uh, but they used Frankie's battleships against him, which was a cool little twist, uh, especially in the beginning of the episode when they said, you know, you can't... I didn't know he was just leaving these out. Where... He just has them anchored in the harbor to just be like, taken and used at any point. Um, he said he's like, I, I think he's like Iron Man, just leaving his suits lying around and shit. They fall into the wrong hands, you're in trouble. Uh, so we'll see, though. We know that Tom isn't currently alive in the story. Um... So we'll see what crime he ends up being brought to justice for. Uh, we saw at the beginning of the episode that Zoro was making his way. He's trying to find, you know, what the hell's going on. He says he's got to pay back uh, Lucci two times or three times for what happened. So we'll see. I'm just curious. It's kind of like the mantra stuff all over again. Um, it's like, how do you get through that? If they know, like... When those priests knew our moves, how could we even attack them if they knew our moves? And we saw you know, that it got to the point where you had to get them kind of mentally off their game to have to not be as focused. But then the question I asked, well, if I know your moves ahead, why would I ever not be mentally focused? So that was a hard one that I... the Throwing someone off their mantra was kind of hard to explain to me a little bit there. Given, like, if I know, why would I ever be thrown off or caught off guard? Um... Same thing here. I'm curious how we're going to get through, like, the iron body, finger gun, uh, air walk. But we did see Frankie... Uh, he was doing something. I don't know if that's because he's cyborg and that, you know, bypass. I... We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Thanks for your favorite subscribe, as always.